You may ask yourself sometimes how salt is made. Today we will embark on a journey to unravel the fascinating process. Salt, that humble yet indispensable ingredient that graces our kitchen shelves and dinner tables, plays a crucial role in our daily lives. Beyond its culinary uses, salt has had a profound impact on the course of human history, influencing trade routes, sparking wars and even serving as a form of currency. Let's acquaint ourselves with the main types of salt, sea salt, rock salt and table salt. Each type has its unique character, derived from the way it's produced and the minerals it contains. Sea salt, as the name suggests, comes from the ocean and carries a bit of its briny character. Rock salt is mined from ancient buried salt deposits, while table salt, the most common type, is typically mined and heavily processed. Now that we understand the types of salt, it's time to delve into how it's made. Sea salt, as the name suggests, comes directly from the ocean. This simple yet fascinating process begins with a collection of seawater. The collected water is then stored in shallow ponds open to the elements of nature. Here it is at the mercy of the sun and wind, two powerful forces that play a crucial role in the production of sea salt. As the sun blazes and the wind blows, the water in these ponds gradually evaporates. This leaves behind a crust of sparkling white crystals, a sight that is as mesmerizing as it is rewarding. These precious crystals are what we all know as sea salt, a gift from the ocean. The process is a testament to nature's simplicity and resourcefulness, showing that the most common items in our pantry often have the most extraordinary origins. Sea salt is a simple, natural process, but what about rock salt? Rock salt, unlike sea salt, is mined from the earth. This humble seasoning, used in our kitchens and on our dinner tables, has a rather grand origin story. It lies hidden deep within the earth in large deposits that are the remnants of ancient bodies of water which evaporated millions of years ago. These salt beds are like time capsules, preserving the essence of prehistoric seas. Now, how do we get to these buried treasures? Two main methods are used. Traditional mining involves drilling, blasting and hauling the rock salt to the surface. It's a labour-intensive process, but an effective one. On the other hand, solution mining pumps water into the deposits to dissolve the salt, creating a brine that is then brought to the surface and evaporated to leave behind the salt. So we've covered sea and rock salt. What about the salt we use every day at home? Table salt is probably the most common type of salt we encounter in our daily lives. This unassuming white crystal is a blend of both sea and rock salt, a fusion of nature's wonders brought together to season our meals. It's an important player in the culinary world, but did you know it undergoes a refining process before it reaches our tables? The refining process strips away other minerals, leaving us with the pure, clean taste we associate with table salt. This is a careful process, ensuring that the salt we consume is not only tasty but safe as well. But that's not all. Most table salt also has a secret ingredient, iodine. Added for health reasons, iodine helps to prevent deficiencies that can lead to health issues such as thyroid problems. So the next time you reach for that salt shaker, remember the journey it's been on. Now we know how our everyday salt is made. From the sea to your dining table, the journey of salt is a fascinating one. We've delved into the depths of the ocean where the water's salinity gifts us with sea salt. We've ventured into the heart of the earth, unearthing the buried treasure that is rock salt. And we've explored the transformation of these raw materials into the table salt that seasons our meals and sustains our bodies. This humble yet essential mineral plays a pivotal role in our lives from flavoring our favorite dishes to maintaining our body's balance. It's a testament to how something so simple can bear such significance. The processes we've uncovered today, the evaporation of seawater, the mining of ancient deposits, and the refinement into a kitchen staple, they all contribute to the story of salt, a story spanning oceans, continents, and millennia. Thank you very much for watching, and don't forget to support us.